Hey uh, folks, literally starting at the moment I finished. Let's do a desperate measures. Just desperate measures. As Adam Jensen, you find yourself in the city of Prague, recently battle to its train shang, we got another problem. A bomb scare. We can't get into Tarbos until it's resolved. I've been to that office before. They're in the middle of building an access area connected to the station. Uh, I'm not gonna try and shout over this. Think they'll thank me. Uh give me a challenge. You remember that bombing you were in? Are you trying to be funny? No. What am I saying? Of course you do. I am seriously out of shape. I just sprinted the whole way here and uh try and get to the point. Right. You know the corrupted footage from the train station. The distorted images that pointed us in the direction of Ark? What about it? There's a woman who works at Ruzika Station. Apparently, she's been trying to get in touch with Interpol. She says she has info on the security footage and wants to meet someone about it. Seems like something we should have known about earlier. What's Miller saying about this? Miller's not saying anything. Because I didn't talk to him about it. Yet. We keeping things from the bosses now, Chang? Only the ones who keep things from us. This woman, she... She sounded jumpy to me. If she knows who the bomber was... Jensen, something tells me you should try getting to her before anybody else does. Where is she? Waiting in the back alley on Stuhr Street. Her name is Pavla Kilmanovic. All right, I'll see what she knows. Someone points. These take place during the main story. Why Kilmanovic? aren't they part of it? Slot it in. Sakura, you are augmented. I I not think they sent. Yes. Yes, I am. You are with Interpol, yes? At the moment. I'm told you have information on the train station attack. Yes. No. Maybe. I... I work there. At Ruzika Station in surveillance room. I was not there when bombs blow up. My shift did not start yet. But I am on my way, and when I hear explosions, I... I must go to see. To find out if my colleagues... There is so much devastation. I know. I was there. Take your time. It is horrible. Everything's so chaotic. When man from Tarvos arrive, it's hard for me to think straight. Tarvos? The private security company? He... He say he is part of investigation, and I... I believe him. I give him code to Intellicam server room. I know maybe I should not, but... He seems so like police, I think... He do something to corrupt the data. You've done the right thing, coming forward with this. But I'd like to get a better sense of the time frame. How long after the explosions did this Tarvos man show up? Men? There were three of them. But only one go into server room. I... I cannot give you exact time. On one side, it feel like hours. On other, only minutes. Emergency people have been there some time, but police not start ordering every people around yet. Did anyone else see these men? No. No one else see. I think. I mean, no, no, I swear, no one else see them, just me, I, I... It's okay, we're just having a friendly conversation here. And if you're trying to protect someone, I can help. As long as you tell me everything. I, I not protect no one. But I thought, I thought maybe I could help them. Who? <sighs> Tarvos man give me credit chip. When I see real police coming, and I know he lie about who he is. He say it is enough credits to help many victims of bombings. 
many of my colleagues. So I take it. You took a bribe? Yes. But my colleagues not want help. They tell me to call Interpol. You will arrest me now? I'm with Interpol, not the police. And I'm hoping you'll remember more if I let you go. Really? You let me go? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just be sure to call Interpol again if you think of anything else. As for Azen Chang. The one I spoke to before. Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Chang. I spoke to Pavla Kilmanovic. Looks like someone from Tarvos got access to Ruzika's and Telecam servers before the police. Tarvos? Wh what? You think they corrupted it? Why? Uh, why would they do that, Jensen? I mean, I can't just call up Mr. Tarvos and ask, you know? Leave the asking to me. They have a regional office in Prague, right? Yeah, at Terminal Station. You need to take the metro to get there. I'll let you know what I find out. Oh, wait, Jensen. Terminal Station is on lockdown. Reports for why haven't come in yet, but <laughs> let me work my magic. Wish they had integrated this. There. Just gave you access to a train. You should be able to get there with no problem now. I, um, someone was saying that they hoped there would be a, uh, you know, definitive edition of Mankind Divided at some stage to properly integrate these. A criminal past might be a bit harder to integrate. I'm not quite sure on the story uh, there, but um, this would certainly be integratable. It certainly seems to take on place in the revisit to to Prague. It's the nighttime setting. But, um. The second time there, like. Um. But yeah, it's annoying that these aren't hey, integrated. How did you get through the lockdown? No trains are supposed to stop here. I'm with Interpol. I need to speak with someone in the Tarvos offices. Well, I'm sorry, but there's a bomb scare going on outside. My lieutenant gave me strict orders not to let anyone through. You'll have to turn around or wait it out. Either way, I have a post to maintain. Nice work with the train, Chang, but we got another problem. The lockdown here is due to a bomb scare. I can't get into Tarvos until it's resolved. There is another way. I've been to that office before. They're in the middle of building an access area connected to the station. But if you use it... I'll be breaking into the offices of a security company. Think they'll thank me for identifying flaws in their defenses? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Especially if they're trying to cover up any involvement with Ark. I'll reconnect when I've reached their command center. Jensen out. Give me 15. Uh, do have access to this and there's no overload tank. So I take it this takes place after... I really wish we were just integrated, because I would imagine at this stage I'd have more than 15 points. This is pissing me off now. Okay, fine. Given that it's the AUG I use the most. Um, but yeah, I really wish they'd integrated it. So I would have the ammo from the base game. I would have every little bit, you know? Like, I wouldn't have everything I had out there at the end of the game, but I would have... You know, everything I had after, um... The other place. I to use Typhoon. What? I don't have the... Why wouldn't I have the Icarus Landing by default? I swear I had that even after I lost it. Oh, lost points. Uh, it's been too long, I don't remember.
There we go. Run as much as I can. Mm, give you a bit of a mixed toolkit. Oh, I forgot to grab the eyes. I have to have the eyes. I can't not have the eyes. I've they're incredibly handy and I've grown way too reliant. Another way. I've been to that office before. They're in the middle of building an access area connected to the station. But if you use it, I'll be breaking into the offices of. The security company. Think they'll thank me for identifying flaws in their defenses? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Especially if they're trying to cover up any involvement with Ark. I'll reconnect when I've reached their command center. Jensen out. Hate concealing secrets. I read that. Oh, I don't have to jump fighter. Yeah, another thing I'm missing. Again, I would have had plenty of points of got all of these things since I, you know, by the time I got here. Um. I really wish this was properly integrated into the game, and that's going to be something a point I will reiterate constantly, because it's pissing me off that it isn't. You ain't one. Besides, LT's not so bad. I'd much rather a decision maker having my back in the thick of it than some soft upper management wanker. Well, I'm going to make sure I have the respect of my men when I make lieutenant one day. <laughs> Is that so? You a lieutenant? Yeah, you'll see. All right then, rookie. You can start climbing that ladder by seeing to your patrol. Come on then. Someone was making a similar point about, um, you know, the praxis and stuff and the poor integration here in the uh, reviews on uh, Steam. Like, they're pointing out how there's, you know, like, the Pritchard bit, due to the ending of the game and whatnot, the Pritchard bit could easily take place, at, you know, as post-game content. Um, the... Ah, oh, damn it, where am I going with all this? Uh, the Pritchard bit could easily take place as post-game content. It could easily draw upon your Jensen at the end of the game. Th this one here, is, to follow on from what it's saying, clearly takes place on the second night. You could easily just, you, you know, they could have easily slotted it in. I don't know why they didn't. And I'm, I know I'm going on about it, it's, just, it's quite frustrating to... I no stealth. Um, Trace program initiated. Access denied. I didn't trigger any alarm. Good. 
Okay, never mind. Um, I hate trying to hack with it at this level. But anyway, um, the, basically, yeah, I don't know why they didn't properly integrate this. If they had, then we. It's. It would be a lot less of a pain in the ass. Uh, like the lack of. Just the minimal amount of practice points we got. We could have used the loadout in our kit that we we're used to. Um, and it makes. And it, it would soft fine in with the story that was there. You know? So it's. It's, fr it's a bit frustrating. Um, so that is a mark against the DLC. Another point against it is they keep calling them left tenants. It, it's puzzling to me. Also, a thing that they could have done is that would have also been great is it's maintaining your um, Heavy critiques aimed at this. Anomaly detected. Trace access granted. Forty five percent, Christ. Can't hack that. Hmm. Can't crawl here. Save. Can't remote hack. <laughs> oh, we can just go down below. Okay, I'm taking it. Maybe this is a case of. You know, normal people can't see the lights, just Jensen's metal eyes can, though. Otherwise, that's a very obvious security net to get through. Praxis kit. Generous. I'll hold off on spending it for the moment. We'll see what's the next thing I run into that gives me trouble. Plus, I kind of want to save up for jumping or maybe for remote hacking. Did not see it. That's why I got this vision. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Hmm. 
Here, one second. And I'm back. Really hack anything not to get more stealth and fortify. I think I'll be saving for the double jump. You can see the old bell tower posters all over the place. Uh, hey Melvin, the inventory list from last week was awesome. How I saw that you submitted it at the end of the day, and I planned on reading it when I got to work, but. When I got in, I couldn't find it. Inverted save file, and I still couldn't find it. Could you please do another stock report in equipment storage and send it to me ASAP? I need it for my report. Thanks so much. Howard Knight. Hi all, please stop hitting reply all. You're potentially spreading a virus. Make sure it has been scanned for viruses. When you reply, you will send it a return message only the person who sent the message to you. This means one person will get it. Uh, this is... Well, employees being evacuated, please save your files and shut down the computer before you leave the office. Doing so will increase security and integrity of our computer systems. For certain computers, a for the shutdown will be forced. Uh, further information, this uh, issue is a high priority because of the vulnerability can be exploited by simply visiting a malicious website, after which any skilled hacker can obtain full control of your computer. If any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact IT. Ms. Harrison, we've uh, sent to confirm last week's hack at the Bank of Vancouver. In Vancouver, Canada claimed the lives of three Tarvis guards. The attack uh, was, was carried out by three unidentified augmented individuals who may or may not have been connected with NSF. Two civilians were also killed, or thoughts of prayers are with them, and their families as they mourn their loss. We received this notification because we worked with phone casualties. Shane Bender and Marianne Fernando. Uh, any uh, inquiries regarding the additional Details attached for directly to the Regional Tarvis Operations officer, Office. Book to unsubscribe to notifications on co workers. Please reply to this email with the word unsubscribe in the body of the mail. It's really Tarvis command. Uh, I feel really gutted right now going back to this level of Jensen. Like, I got in so much goodies and whatnot. I was so much burlier. And now I'm Pansy McGee again. Probably won't have any uh, triangle codes in this. They're probably all base game.
wrong. Hey, don't know what he did when he was in there. We're soldiers. We don't need an explanation. If we get into trouble, we just say the orders came from up high, which they did. I'm not sure we were just following orders to hold up in court. Trust me, we'll be fine. Simon Whitaker. That name seems familiar. <sighs> to our employees, join me in welcoming two new employees, Kevin Carter, Junior Information and Technology Assistant to Q&As. Where were you employed when uh, before you took this job? City University, London, and Santa Pub in uh, London. Uh, that's clearly an Irish pub. Where were you when you were a kid? When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? A pilot like my mom? What superpower would you wish you had to fly? F uh, favorite word? Buckingham. Uh, Ronald uh, Gooden, security guard, Pinnays. Where were you in point? I just finished two tours in Australia. They want to be a goalie for Trafford United. Bulletproof and cake. Um of course, uh Kone Mint, Palisade Bank, Prague in socializing for the month. Uh employee, employment break, personal death, illness. Uh, personal death related, uh, Nicole, uh, family related, uh, Davies and Breezeford, there's no one on uh, break, personal romantic, uh, personal miscellaneous recorded, reviewed and archived, deemed insignificant, not on break, Nicole, Davies, Carson, miscellaneous, Carson has been is being monitored. Uh, it's proved the blades. Oh, that's tied in with another one. Uh, Rainers has been monitored. Robertson's been fined for his wage. Daly is first one given for because uh, he entered into a relationship with Holloway. Will be given different shifts in September. Always same, and there's death notice. Please be advised, the current lockdown situation is not a drill. Chris, it is T-minus seven days until Jonathan contracts the dreaded marriage virus. So starting today, I'm thinking everyone should avoid making fun of the wedding, make him feel like we've stopped teasing him about it. I'll get him out of here for a weekly lunch. You, Brown, McCoy, and everyone else who wants to go. Uh, wants to join and go into his office. Code is 0724. Seems odd. But I'm pretty sure he uses code for everything. Uh, I've got battle party details all planned out. I'll redecorate Jonathan's office in a way that sets tone for this week's festivities. Thank you. I'll be sure to rob it. They're being generous on Praxis, Praxis kits at the very least. It'll make life a little easier in trying to access things. Rocks!
Oh, Peter Chang. Peter Chang was once known as Hex, a actor who stole enormous sums of money from various mega corporations. When TF29 finally caught him, they offered him a choice, prison or a job. Just the latter now heads TF29 Cybercrimes Division, allowing terrorists to operate online. Chang takes his new responsibilities very seriously, especially where Juggernaut Collective is concerned, but his past life has given him a distrust that borders on paranoia. Will you relax? We were following orders. We didn't do it. anything wrong. Yeah, but what we did? I don't know what he did when he was in there. We're soldiers. We don't need an explanation. If we get into trouble, we'll just say the orders came from up high, which they did. I'm not sure we were just following orders for hold up in court. I think you could shoot him in the Trust previous me. game. We'll be fine. This one. I can't hack this one. Regardless, there's nothing actual of significance on it. It's kind of nice that it stays unlocked. I kind of expect the game to bullshit me and lock it. Ah, beautiful. 0724. Thank you, game. They knew I, I wouldn't. I would have fucking nothing. Any employees who misplaced it or lose their weapons will be fined. Hmm. No sound on that thing. Yeah, he uses it for everything. Hint, hint. Gotta be careful with that. Don't want to trigger the arms through, through that. Jensen story, that's what the JS sounds for. Chang, I'm at the command center. Good timing. Miss Kilmanovic called again. Said the Tarvos officer had a high tech device on him. The kind you'd need a request email and the lieutenant's blessing to use. That means an order may have come from the top. I'll see what I can find out in the lieutenant's office. His name's Whitaker, and if I'm right, his office will be up on the mezzanine. It's an antibiotic resistant strain of tuberculosis. Well, it has been spreading quickly through the Indian subcontinent. Men. Welcome into Tarvos. And your fellow officers. And me. And the element of surprise.
game was very generous in supplies and everything in that run. I know it was a normal, but it, it was a lot more generous than I had anticipated. A lot more. Transcript. Like on yourself. Still, anyway, um, thank you. Chang, make sure there's a metro train available for me at Terminal Station. Did you find out who corrupted the footage? I did better than that. I'll fill you in on the details back at HQ. the guy himself because why not it's a little bit away but I don't care the re also for those who don't get why I was laughing Burke is, is slang for cunt I remember too. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. But I'm sorry, sis. I've done absolutely everything in my power to keep you. Lieutenant Whitaker? I have to go. Something's come up. Who are you? How did you get into my office? I'm with Interpol. We have reason to believe someone from Tarvo Security Services tampered with evidence at Ruzika Station shortly after the terrorist attack occurred. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Interpol? What the hell are you talking about? How dare you accuse Tarvos of collaborating with terrorists? It's not an accusation, Whitaker. It's a fact. Someone from this office corrupted the station's intellicam footage. And I'm pretty sure that someone was you. What? That is preposterous. Where, where would you get an idea like that? In an audio recording between you and your sister. I was wondering when I was going to say it. I can fix this. We've covered up things caught in camera before. I have to go. I have to do this now. Shall I continue? Or would you like to explain now? It, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> I'm not a terrorist. I'm not an org sympathizer. And it wasn't a Tarvos mandate or anything like that. I just... I... I had to protect my sister. Your sister? Your sister was the mama? No, she would never. It was her husband. Ark got to him. Brainwashed him somehow. My brother-in-law was a proud man. A good mechanic. And after the incident, people didn't trust dogs around machinery. He lost his job. He and your sister would have been forced to move to Gollum City then. You sure he was a member of Ark? There isn't everyone in that place. And you have to be if you want to survive. When he lost his license to work, he became bitter and resentful. Ark must have preyed on that. It's what terrorists do. It's what somebody did. I'm just not sure it was Ark. I need his name, Lieutenant. He's dead. But my sister isn't. You ID the bomber, and the next thing that happens is the police start tearing through Gollum City looking for her. So no, I'm not telling you his name. We actually already have the name if Jensen acknowledged emails he found in the other ga in the main game. Even if this was a separate thing, he would have not acknowledged that email. I get that you want to protect your sister, Lieutenant, and I even agree. Once the bomber's name gets out, she probably will be in danger. But I can help with that if you give me the name. I swear to you, she had nothing to do with the attack. And my brother-in-law... 
Ivan was just a pawn. He, he couldn't organize anything if he tried. Burke. His name was Ivan Burke. That was squeaking down below. Did your sister ever mention anyone else from Ark? Someone Ivan might have spent a lot of time with? You mean the one who recruited him? No, not specifically, no. There were a couple of guys he'd sometimes drink with. T-Bone, Lou Bosch... I don't know. Oh, but there was this one guy. He came by their apartment about a week ago. He was a big Russian. Left a note and signed it, Old Blue Eye. She said he seemed friendly enough, but was glad he didn't stay. Hmm. So, Machenko. Well, we already... One second. Hey, folks. You know, when I was playing this game, I really hoped we would go back to Detroit. To see what it looks like now that, uh... You know, everything's gone further to shit. I forgot about that want. And, well, it never did come true, did it? Came true, did it? And your sister? If I'm gonna help her, I need her name too. Melissa, if you're serious about helping her, there are only two ways you can. Get her out of there. Or keep Ivan's name out of it. I understand. That was a neat trick the way you corrupted the IntelliCam data. Any chance it can be restored? No. The remote data transfer device he uses is very efficient. There's no way to recover the original data. Has Tarvos tampered with footage like this in the past? Yes, <laughs> said so. Uh, I'm in inapt trouble as it is, Agent. I'm not adding more by answering that. I appreciate you coming clean, Lieutenant. Even so, I wouldn't leave town if I were you. You've made this investigation harder than it should have been. I have no intention of leaving. Why? What are you going to do now? I did what I wanted to get. Uh, I I guess. Here, one second. They're still squeaking. Uh, I'm just gonna stop for a moment. Hey, folks, I'm back. Uh, I get that you want to protect your sister with Tigger, but that doesn't make you any less significant. Sort of evidence in ongoing terrorist investigation your career is over. Well, Lieutenant, I know you took, your act, you took action to protect your sister, but I won't be doing my job if I didn't report everything you told me, including why I interfered. I get to that you acted to protect your sister and that you're worried that she will be put at risk. Do my best to keep names out of my report, but can't see they won't be there in the future. Now I'm starting to wonder, was the dog squeaking or was it something weird in game? Mom's awake and she didn't hear him. No, it is him. Look, Lieutenant, I know you took action to protect your sister, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't report everything you've told me, including why you interfered. Right. I understand. You'll have my full cooperation. And to prove it, I'll order my men to stand down until you clear the building. Men, this is Lieutenant Whitaker. In the midst of our lockdown, an Interpol agent penetrated our defenses. We'll deal with the ramifications later. For now, show him to the lift so we can access the metro. Whitaker, out. Thank you. Very nice voice guy here. The Moment to Fight Back by Ashani Tawal. Tower. Hmm. Chapter 1, page 4. They knew we, uh, they knew when we were checking in. My wanting of a separate room made their plans to abduct me even easier. Remember the joy of getting my hotel room key card. The hotel card gave me two. This confused me. I'm one person. My father took the extra one and said, You don't need two. No one but your family is to go into your room. I will never forget that elevator ride. For the first time in my life, I felt like a grown up. 
I was being walked to my room and my bags were being carried. When he finished showing me the room, he waited by the door and expected a tip. And when I handed him some money, I noticed he had several small augmentations, most likely unkempt, especially when compared to the five-star accommodations. Why would you have one? You wouldn't have any orcs, would you? Act like a professional, agent. Sorry. One of my men will be waiting for you at the loop. It'll take you down to the metro now. Goodbye, agent. I've already told you everything you needed to hear. Now I can crawl through this place and just loot the shit out of it. One place still marked hostile is that guy's safe room. At least that, uh, from what I can see. But anyway, I'm going to call this here. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, and I do hope you join me again soon. If there's anything you'd like to tell me, please let me know in the comment sections below. But until next time, love and peace, baby. Again, this is a fine enough mission. It would, it fitted it, it just thus far, opinion thus far. It's a fine enough mission, slots in fine with the game that's there. And it's more than a little annoying that it's so cut separately to the game, you know? Because, like, beyond the ramifications of the skill tree, your loadout, it's just un inherently annoying that this mission that slots in just fine is off in its own little cubby. It kind of ruins the flow of the whole thing, you know? So, again, hopefully there will be a definitive edition that fixes things up, but again, I would be a little annoyed by a definitive edition at this moment because I would have to go rebuy it. And basically rebuy this game, and then replay it to have things slotted in right. Not sure if a definitive edition would, you know, carry enough merit to justify it. But anyway... I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, and I do hope you join me again soon. If you would like to tell me, please let me know in the comment section below. But until next time, love and peace, baby. Hello, hello folks, and welcome back to... Desperate Measures. One issue I've discovered was Desperate Measures... ...is literally a single mission. It is, it, that's all it is. It's literally just a single mission. Um, th that's all there is to it. Um, it was apparently originally released as part of a like safety pre-ordered game. We got it. Then it was released as free DLC later on. Um, Given that it was released alongside the game, I don't know why it wasn't just part of the game. Again, it comes off kind of dodgy trying to parcel the game out. Like they're using like a bonus mission as an incentive to pre-order. Which isn't a you know, consumer friendly thing and all that. From what I hear. So you know, they're you know, segmenting out content to bribe people with it. You know, it's one thing if it's, you know... At least, that's what it seems to be anyway. So yeah, I just... I don't know why they did... Why it's not just... Part of the game, or why it's segmented off so crudely. Why it isn't, you know, slot... Why doesn't it slot in better? It's the flow of it's terrible. But yeah, I've been um, gone for a while. Typical. Um, I've um, yeah, I've uh, I've been gone a while since. Um, uh, sorry, it's been a while since my last confession. 
I um, I've been playing other things. Anomaly detected. Trace pr access granted. Uh, don't employ Eves in accordance with Tarvos re uh, re uh, regulation office bylaws and regulations. Please refrain from entering using sensitive facilities designed for women. Here, pay paste the regulation. Uh, <laughs> they haven't had a female visitor any day. Uh, they haven't had visit a female visitor in three months. Oh, Alright. Uh, again, that's kind of an odd to the first game where Denton getting chastised for going to women's restroom. Uh, hey, Jackie, I've received an order to change the access code for the Tarvo security office over here at Bueda 1 to 1107. Can you please confirm this so I can go ahead with it when you're. Uh, when you're reply. Wait, security. Uh, hey Jack, that security weakness in Blade 01 I was talking about still hasn't been addressed. I've been playing about it for three bloody months. My boss says just made this a drone hatch. No one could get, no one could get in that way. Well, what should I do? Go over his head to my local LT? Should just shut up and be a good, a good soldier? No, this is a war zone series. We're paid to do security. We, shouldn't we share this vulnerability with the client? There is a rec uh, there is record of my emails to him, so I'm in the clear. I thank you for helping me out before, and I hope you can provide some uh, advice. From Jackie to Simon Whitaker. Whitaker. Citizens so incident report. Uh, report number Tarvos Prague B PC, uh, PBC Blade. Uh, you're a unit, you're a Czech for Prague, Palisade Blade Division, Blade 01. Team. Category 1 Accident Robotic Failure, Client Employee Incident. Uh, time of incident, exact time unknown, ho weekend and holiday, no, location there. Uh, one kind modified sentry robot, name, injury, fatality, to not applicable, tree. Uh, victim one, Morton Kinney, emotional trauma, new hire, uh, points 25, uh, 0.25 years, pay grade, blade employee number to be determined, CZ race. Uh, uh, male, 25, blade employee position, uh, level 2 security clearance, uh, blade division, blade team 1, uh, leave of absence, duty status, leave. A new security program was installed in all automated defenses and chambers. These new defenses reduced the number of warning time that a sentry will announce to target. Ken made an, an error by stepping in an area that he was not permitted. When such robot made a warning and quickly switched to kill mode. When witness, Mr. Ke uh, Kenny became crying, then became catatonic. Luckily, a Tarvis employee came to rescue move Ms. Ken Kennedy before the center became hostile. Ms. Kennedy has been given a leave of absence by Palisade Bank, a bank Corporation. Adverse or anticipated publicity. Incident occurred inside the Blade 01 facility. The victim is under NDA and cannot speak publicly about it. Rumors may trickle out. Any employee of Tarvos or Palisade Bank discussed the matter publicly will be punished, fined, or terminated. Uh, authenticity. He was sent to a local hospital and released after 24 hours. Uh, possible also threat. Alright, I'm just going to um, crawl my way around here. The lift is ready for you, Interpol. It's in the hall outside the command center. Hmm, thank you. I already told you where the lift is. Out in the hall. I think it's time for you to leave. Oh, oh no, it's not. No. I'm... Wait. Uh, random coffee cup. Um, well, this is the end of this um there's still stuff i can lose here still stuff i can find so i am doing just that
Make Tarvos look bad again. You and I are going to have words. <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you, Interpol. Try it now. Your email should be running normally again. Thanks. Kevin, right? Not bad for a new guy. If you have any more issues, uh, I'll be in the IT department. The LT sent a direct you to the lift. It's just outside the command center. I'm not permitted to answer any of your Confirmed. questions. Switch to Kazi Kram. The lift to the Metro is out in the hall. I'm sure you can find it. You must be pretty crafty if you got through our defenses. I need some enlargement. Mine. Hey, Kevin. Commit to Dorco's uh, to our department of memory 1019. I could you could use um, still it's we're literally just done uh, Sean Timmons died in London huh died already before uh, a security incident in Palisade Blade 04 Prague uh, Instant Palisade f wait for Prague C Z gonna be live for one tower security guard. Oh, he's from London. Alright. I was thinking of the you know, the end of the base game. Uh Harry, I went through the five stage of grieving for the relationship before I signed the papers and she went to Alabama. All trace of anger has fully disappeared after a talk uh where you remind me of the good things in my life. It's very sad after the email she sent a couple weeks ago, but it was not but it was not and I've not been angry since then. It's really sad. But the email I gave up on her. Now I just want to move on. Thanks for help, Sean T. And now he's dead. Move. Confirm. Switch to casualty ground. Okay, now I'm not entirely sure that was uh, an accident. Down, uh, general protection during sporting events at Prague Stadium. Um, casualty breakdown. There's a car accident with two Tarvos. Uh, there's a serious non hostile action with a public and Tarvos. 14 public, uh, slight non hostile actions. Uh, 14 public, one Tarvos. Uh, serious hostile action, one public, f four Tarvos. Site hostile action, 59 public, 2 tarbos. All protests and home team lost. Mont had a spike in 5 to 1 incidents. In 5 1 incidents, which is site hostile actions. Um, 121 of them, um, which occurred during post game riot fueled by home team lost and triggered a coordinated org protest. No team, uh, no deaths occurred. Tarbos per, uh, personnel should be commended. Uh, for their actions. In all of the footage of the post game riot, the protesters who appeared to be aggressors, not Tarvos personnel. Uh, these out protesters are certainly on the rise. Approved. Uh, Instant property bank. On the protection. Mm -hmm. Instant blades. Report. Certainly dramatic month. He was an experienced security guard who knew he sent it away. He ventured to an authorized area. It triggered and he was gunned down by a sentry. He was in a press state over the outcome of recent divorce wave. The Liberty ventured into an authorized area. The recurring one-man protest 
known as Mr. Sardakis occurred 20 times this month. Three incidents were reported checked police by Sardakis himself. No injuries to Tavis personnel were sustained. No restraining orders approved by the police. This has increased distance. He must be from that building. Released now some issues with cleanliness in the kitchen area. Many people soak their dishes in sinks, leave dirty glasses and plates around. We don't have a cleaning crew and are convinced that you are perfectly capable of cleaning your own dishes just like you do at home. We therefore ask you to help keep the common areas clean and welcoming. Please wash your dishes. We brought 75 uh, knives, forks, and spoons a while ago, and now we've about 15 left. We bought. Please bring them back before 1 30 so they can be cleaned for the next day. No one needs to hoard dirty di silverware in or on their desk. There's also a weird squeaking here. Really obnoxious. I guess uh, I, uh, last time I was recording, I thought the dog was whining or something. It's actually just the game squeaking. Did you hear about Buckland's friend? No. He offed himself in Blade 4. Walked into the wrong place on purpose. Went to reporters, so he was upset about a divorce. Divorce. Shit. He was Buckland's best friend. He worked in London together and his best man at his wedding. That's why Buckland's been walking off to the bathroom so much lately. Uh, he's probably going to cry or think about stuff. I think I heard something involving a kidney stone. We should keep an eye on him anyway. Didn't he some shit? It's no luck. When I had one, I was waiting and trying for hours. I would offer to take him out for a pint, but I don't think that helps the situation. Fuck no. It makes his kidney stone even worse. Uh, Tavis Goods looking for permanent employees with more than your experience at an European or Asian office for the Apex Center. Uh, fluent in English and two other languages, as conference attendees will be from around the world, around the globe. That, you are blind. Can't believe you said all augmented people were rounded up in a nice, humane way. Safe areas for augmented people like the Utila Complex were created to provide safety from all hate fueled violence, or actually rife with violence. The problems with the Utila Complex are well known among aid organizations and some news outlets, but no option, no other option for millions of augmented people. The fact is that they're not communities at all. They're wastelands with an unstable and disfranchised commute population crammed together. Police do not come from the community. They walk around with an us versus them attitude. And there are people who have resorted to mob justice times. Karen witnessed the actions with her own eyes. She saw a father of two killed by mob people because he was suspected of being an informer to the police. Suspected. I'm, 20, I'm 18 years old and can make my own decisions in my life. Volunteer to help all went to people whether you like it or not. Karen is there. I'll not be alone. But we'll look back on the horrors that are happening right now. I need to be on the right side of history. Uh, comedy tickets. I'm, so, I'm selling tickets to an improv sketch and comedy show next week in Prague, right around the corner. Uh, now that it's occurring at the same time as my father is here in Gome City, so sadly I can't go. It's an English language show called Klepto Above Comedy. It, it's ha it has funny people from England. They're well known in London underground comedy scene. Comedy groups Firestorm, Gun Show, and Possible Side FX. King Lou and Sir Adam Nowak are the hosts. So my face value, uh, Myers. already? Mm. Like in the base game? Seems familiar. It certainly starts off similarly. You can certainly pause it yourself. Not fully in the mood to be going around crawling around the place. And you know, checking everything. Did you see the LT before? He was trying to get into his old locker. Doesn't he know his locker is now in section E? Yeah, the LT was acting strange. I think something's up. He was fidgety and nervous all right. Didn't give me that hello smile thing he does. Nine times out of ten, when a superior acts strange, it means one of two things. They're about to be given the boot, 
or they're firing somebody they like. Well, it can't be me. I don't think the bugger likes me very much. Hey, quiet down, you two. You never know who's listening. Fine. Sup? It's funny because I'm literally just standing right there. An edge in combat equals Kazi uh, Kazi Cam. Uh, Tarvo Security Services' proprietary language for tactical s s operations is Kazi Cram. Created for a condensed and efficient communication in the field, the language uses specific cadence, tone, and voice, code words, and numbers to quickly communicate information between Tarvo's employees. Using this language properly during combat will put any threat or primary target at a disadvantage. Kazi Cam is, is ever growing and changes every 3 to 17 days for enemies and past employees from any type of advantage in the field. The language includes codes for many simple to complex combat situations. It also has 178 specific codes for small talk slash non-operational communication. All verbal interactions are recorded and reviewed after an employee. If an, if an employee deviates too far from current language protocol, there'll be fines slash not pay. The fines are on a sliding scale on an individual basis. Nice, that'll be impossible to, you know, to remember. Set back on right. No entry here, sir. I will fire if you do not comply, sir. Jurisdiction of any government. Assured. Pan and empty. Bank Corporation. Hmm. How can he detect me? How can he detect me? I also can't take out multiple people. I will fire if you do not provide I can't hack him annoyingly. Again, I have no idea how. Well, um, how he it was seeing me. Some weird bug. Because I'd already completed here or whatnot. Uh, to all employees, some are responsible for news outlets have recently posted rumors that Tarvos is operating inside the walls of Udo Complex in Prague. We are not, and any reports to the contrary are completely false. Many of these reports have been given the. I've also given impressions that Tarvos and Company Bell Tower are the same. Yeah, it's quite true. This, too, is also false. For any girls, man, if you may have been working for Bellator, and indeed may feel that nothing changed, given the fact that you're working on your co-workers. 
Tarvos is a completely different company. From statements and accusations such as those in underground news reports, come to lack of research with Tarvos on more than sensationalistic uh, efforts to create a hysteria and headlines in time of Jim's crisis. There's no, uh, the Tarvos does not have a single act of personnel in Golem City, uh, a single act of mission in Golem City. Uh, Tarvos is not Battle Tower, Tarvos is Tarvos. Well, technically, that statement could be true. It, they don't have a single active op, active personnel. They have two. They don't have a single active mission. They have two. Uh, I've got a problem. I can send emails, but when I receive them, they're getting stuck in my Stockholm folder. Same problem I had when I first transferred over. Hey, Kevin, your first solo mission. Find Elsner's desk and solve his email mission. He started off in the Tarvos uh, Stockholm office. Sometimes the mail reverts to his default setting. It's an ongoing problem, so remember to log it in the ongoing case file like I showed you. He does blow. Uh, our data, our client, Mike Bastings, and our employee, Colin Cunningham, died in a single vehicle. Uh, automobile crash at 3.25 a.m. in the Sumpton Park of Prague. A witness to crash uh, said the car seemed to be traveling at maximum speed and was creating sparks and flames before crashing into a tree. Video from a nearby security camera purportedly shows Basing's vehicle speeding and bursting into flames after crashing. When it described the car's engine being ejected uh, 40 50 meters from the impact, Basing and Cottingham's bodies were burned beyond recognition. Coroner identified them by matching fingerprints and dental records. Prague Police Department declared that there was no signs of foul play, but our investigators are not sure. High speed single car crash mirrors several crashes we have seen around the globe. Search such incidents to occur to a Tarvis client, Tarvis security guard. From now on, all single client, single guard missions must involve inspection of the vehicle prior to every use. The amount of electronically hijacking cars controls as a form of assassination has reformed, resurfaced in popularity recently with the rise of hackers. Uh, Lieutenant uh, Sergeant Simon Whitaker will be invited to a meeting this week to discuss this recent trend. Uh, it's Operation Pepper, Client Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Prague, on the protection detail. Uh, medium, small to medium sized protests occurred in perimeter building over eight days. No injuries were sustained. Uh, come to my desk. Uh, wireless network is now secure, all for use while. Wireless devices. Uh, one, of our, one of my wireless devices is recognized as a certificate. Rebooted it. Come to my desk, you're on a problem. I go. Frazier. Hey, Alan. Uh, yeah, yeah, that. It's good. Uh, hey, Alan. It's finally good. Uh, it's good to finally make a fa uh, make the face uh, uh, face face hello. Been monitoring some cyber attacks on your offices since I visited and found something very strange. A legendary hacker, who I told was dead, seemed very much alive and trying to get through your firewall. Does the name Shadow Chowder, Shadow Hilt, uh, ring any bells? Uh, my anti-hacking program picked up some ghost proxies. The point to this hacker being located in Cape Town, Moscow, Buenos Aires, or Prague. Can you believe that? We we'll also analyzed the code and can see that used characteristics of the Russian language. Either Shout Shout is Russian or knows how to write the code that makes one think he is he or she is Russian. Some Russian kid has revived the Shadow Child. It's actually Shadow Child, it's gonna be impossible to trace them. Talking about a legendary hacker here. Thanks for the tour and I'll let you know if I find out now some that thing you wanted. Oh, jokes of the day. But. How does every og joke start? By looking over your shoulder. Sorry, I'm being too annoyed by the sound to actually comprehend that. To then came to me today, demanded I give him an RDT device to reconfigure, uh, reconfigure the spot corruption, but the spot corrupt. He said he'd submit the paperwork later, so I did it for him without thinking twice. However, I've yet to receive any facial requests for this. I've been able to find a reference number to any turn-offs, it assigns a lieutenant either. 
Asked him about her and gave me back the advice. The upset and said the operation is now dead. Vice should definitely use that for gave it to him. So if the log get, uh, entered into the log even if the op was aborted. Uh, do you know I'm about to stop or any reference number related to it? Uh, looks like his career is over even if I didn't turn up. or something. Hmm. No, actually. There's the bridge. Access kit. Roll to the goddamn place. It's to compensate for how much they give you, but, uh, well, as you see, by the time I got it, I no longer needed it. But I suppose that's just because of the way I went about it. Come on! Is this bloody thing gonna pass? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finally, some reaction to invading the bathrooms. Uh, the moment to fight back by Ashani Tower, Chapter 1, page 3. Whenever I visit my family, I stayed in their room. I was 15 years old physically, but mentally I was a 20 something who was suffering in the prison of my parents. Uh, my father recognized my in uh, independence and would step back to give me the freedom I wanted. If I could verbally defend it. On this trip, I knew I was going to take a stand. Didn't ask for a separate room. I demanded it from him. I want my own room. I have to applaud my father for handling such a manic child who decided to make a scene in the lobby of a five-star hotel. His face was still when he replied, All right. Uh, the security uh, video of the lobby showed that all three of us, uh, all three of my would-be kidnappers, were in near us at this time. Hmm. I've only found like one other entry of that. I don't know why there's constant annoying ring to this. Have a security card. Okay, this leads back to the other toad. That's fine. I'm gonna leave now. I can't bring myself to do any more. What's up? If you do this, if if you ghost to this, like basically depending on what you do, you get a different response. Um, at the end here. Um. I didn't ghost it, so I'm gonna get a different response. Ooh, there's a vent right there. Not one you can interact with, though. Oh, I'm out. Can I craft? It's also kind of weird that you can just craft. Put together a hacking device that can break your hand just on the fly. In pro, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't know your father was in Golem. Are these tickets still available? I'll take them off your hands. The tickets are still indeed available. Swing by your desk, my desk when you're free. Oh, employees, recent issues at Blades. Seems, it unfortunately seems I'll have to remind everyone who goes on a mission that our policy regarding interacting with our clients is as follows. All written and verbal, uh, verbal and written communications recorded and reviewed. All non-essential, non-mission-related conversations with clients are limited to 30 seconds. Non-essential, um, non non-mission-related conversations with co-workers are limited to 60 seconds and should be in Cassie Cram code when possible. Um, non-essential, non-mission-related co uh, conversations with co-workers on break have no limit but are still recorded and reviewed. And an employee found bending, uh, breaking, bending, or abusing the above stated rules will be fined accordingly. That's... Hmm, that's quite rough. God, really, 30 seconds is little to no time at all. Does that include the client side of it? Because <laughs> uh, you can be sued, but uh, you can be fined because the other guy is verbose. Um, you know, conversations, you know. You know, 
they might, you know, they might be dicks about it. Uh, Michael, I need you to recalibrate security systems for reception desk in the metro level. The system needs to be operational before renovations in the area are completed. Uh, due to the way I did it, I think uh, I'll get a, a response saying that Tarvis reported a break-in. Uh, I don't know. It's not stealthy enough. I, I didn't ghost it, so I didn't get the better response. Oh. Huh. Date the access door to the down. metro is around the great, corner. But I need to focus on this. I'm trying to book flights and hotels for my whole family, and a great deal just popped up. Later. Okay. Ah. Uh, vacation deal. I just heard from Wesley about this, uh, about their New Year's vacation. She got her on a flash sale online for group packages. We need to stop researching her vacation plans and start booking them. Think to, uh, think once they move all the Augs to Rabia, normal people start traveling and prices are going to double or triple. Do, you t uh, do I need to remind uh, mind you we're definitely traveling with five kids and big rooms usually get gobbled up? Love you, Stephanie. P.S. We need milk. Uh, maintenance order. Uh, hi, Jared. The maintenance order for the ladder in the elevator shaft has been approved. Please provide the maintenance guy, Mr. Baginski, with the temp access code for the shaft service door to 111. Let me know if his work brings him in tomorrow ASAP so it can follow for an extension. He's dead tired. Source, urgent. In right of security threat at street level, access code to Metro Rapid Deployment door has been changed to 1029. Um, this is, scrolling is actually really dodgy. Sometimes you can scroll with this, but it's dodgy as well. Re relieve all Metro employees of duties, including Mr. Braninski, the maintenance worker fixing this, the uh, out, out of the in our elevator shaft. Uh, escort them and also in travel slash train out station. Take position metro until a bomb block down is lifted. Uh, hi, Mr. Henrik. I'm extending your hours today to cover Ludic Jankowski's shift. There was death in the family and will not be in. Your pay will be adjusted to reflect your extended hours and last minute change. I need to cover half uh, uh, cover half shift. If it's impossible for you to take over the sh half shift. Contact me phone by the phone immediately. No employees. Some of you have heard uh, about the situation in Terminal Station involving the threat of a mysterious package. I said you frame from speaking to anyone in the press or mentioning it on social media this time. Do not spread rumors that could lead to increased panic from, from the public. Um... We'll issue a statement in the coming hours. In the meantime, members of Harvard Security will be office adjacent to the terminal station. We're handling the station's lockdown procedures. Please follow their instructions until the situation is re resolved. To all pra Praha Metro service personnel in the terminal station, we discover a potential threat, suspicious package in the access tunnels of terminal station, and in accordance with security regulation 1446-58-7, uh, all Praha Metro service personnel must relinquish all authority to designated Tarvel security officers. For own safety, please leave your personal belongings behind and move to the station platform. Notification will be sent to your superiors as soon as trial level has been cleared, and lockdown status on the terminal state uh, state station has been lifted check in with superiors once you're home and to receive further instructions thank you for safety uh, for your understanding and swift reaction in this matter when protocol is upheld safety follows
Uh-huh. Somehow you managed to find a way into our offices. Mm-hmm. I hope you found what it was you were looking for, Agent. Now piss off. Well played, Agent. Well played. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Huh. And it's slots in right there. Again, I don't know why they yanked this out. It's truly obnoxious. But yeah, that's... This is the end of... The mission. This is it. There's gonna be some talking here, and that's it. As far as I know. Chang, you got here quick. So let's have it, Jensen. Who's our bomber, and how the hell is Tarvos involved? Someone inside Ark is working against Rucker and his ideals. They brainwashed Whitaker's brother-in-law, Ivan Burke, into bombing the station. Whitaker corrupted the footage to protect his sister from any backlash. We should get her into protection before going public. Nice work, Jensen. You must have been quiet in there. Tarvos hasn't reported anything. Oh, I got the ghost. I like to get answers without creating new questions. Nice. I didn't think I got the ghost. Because I... I was looking at the specifications in the wiki and I... thought it... you know, it didn't... Um... I... hit the mark for the reported break-in. Well, I, while I feel I should really... I, I kind of want to skip this, let's be honest here. You, like, you sat through the other credits, I'm sure there's... fair overlap here. I still feel wrong in skipping it on the people, you know. I feel they should get the credit for, you know, their partners. It was a fun little mission, but it really was poorly done. Like, it would flow better if it was part of the base game. If it was actually properly slotted in. Like, remember Missing Link, or the extra little bit with Tong Son, Tracer, in Human Revolution. It would flow better. They, they were DLC, and they were slotted into the game. It would, you know, it should have been like that. It should have been properly slotted in. Sure, okay, the net, the Criminal Past was, you know, Jensen's first mission. It's like a prequel to the whole the game. That being separate? Okay, that makes sense. But it doesn't make sense for this mission that takes place during the game to be separate. And similarly, it doesn't make sense for the Pritchard mission to be separate as well. Because that could take place during any point in the game. Even post-game content. Apparently. The Pritchard one I won't be touching for quite a while. I don't know what flickered up on the screen there for a moment. Uh, I won't be touching the Pritchard one for quite a while. Because I don't own it at present. Um, and I'm not sure when I'll be getting it. I have other things in mind for what I want to grab. So... Anyway, I sincerely hope you enjoyed, enjoyed Desperate Measures. Nice work with the train, Shang, but we got another problem. Uh, and we will be trying... Um, and we'll be playing... Uh, sorry, we'll be coming back with A Criminal Past next. Then we will be going on to Prey. Something I've been quite looking forward to. Uh, I've been listening a lot to Miracle Sound's song on it and see. Yeah, he should be getting paid by these companies for the high P draws to the games. I had some interest in it, but uh, my interest is definitely peaked now because of it. Um, though I am interested in playing the original Prey game, because these two are very different, to the point where, in all in all, Prey should have probably been called something else. The 2016 Prey, or whatever it was, probably should have been called something else. It's apparently substantially different to the original game. Certainly know the apparently different protagonists. I think the original guy was like Native American or something. People were talking about it. I know next to nothing about it though. 
beyond vague recollections of what they said. Um, but yeah, um, I also would like to play the original. Apparently the original is even better, but it's a lot more difficult to get, and I'm not sure if it works on Windows 10. Uh, I would have to go buy the like, disc of it and hope it works. Actually, another game I want to get disc-wise is Mark of Chaos, or whatever. It's Warhammer, it's like a proto Total War Warhammer kind of thing. There's been some comparisons between the gameplay of it and Total War Warhammer. There is isn't that grand strategy element to it, but it's more like you go mission to mission, and in the missions it's vaguely kind of like, it's kind of Total War control uh, thing going on. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to call it here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you join me, again, uh, join me again soon. If you enjoy me again soon, that, that's good too. Till then, love and peace. Uh, so folks, we will not be going into a criminal past. I don't actually own it. I thought I did for whatever reason, because it had a different symbol to this. Uh, but I do not actually own a criminal past. I will be grabbing it at some stage. Next time there's a sale, I'll grab it then. Regrettably, I didn't get... I thought I got, you know, that other Jensen story when I got it on Humble Bundle, but no, I didn't, you know, it wasn't part of it. It was just the base game and then one free DLC, because free. Um, so yeah, I'll begin the two other Jensen stories at a later stage, and I'll come back to play the game, play them then. But next up will be Prey. So, till then, love and peace.